I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Welcome to today's CT Style Express. Today we share a beautiful story of hope and healing. Author Akela Chairs was born while her mother was at Halley House, a residential treatment center for pregnant and parenting women struggling with substance abuse. The center is run by The Connection, a statewide human services agency that Akela says changed her and her mother's life for the better. At any point throughout this interview, you can scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen to learn more about Akela's story and of course her book. She joins us now. Akela thanks so much for being here hi i'm so happy to be here this is so exciting <laughs> so first of all congratulations on your first book it's titled diary of tell us about it so um diary of is essentially a collection of poems um, and a couple of tributes uh, my grandfather passed away in july and i was writing heavily about um what it was like taking care of both uh, him and my grandmother throughout the pandemic um, as their health declined. Um, and so it's just, it definitely was all of my feelings, all of the emotions, um, everything that I was going through. And I'm sure many others can attest to going through these past couple of years, just the feeling of confusion, not knowing what to do next, trying to grow and not really understanding which direction to go in, um, not meeting people's expectations. Uh, just happiness overall, finding those little bits of light in the middle of a whole bunch of chaos. Um, and it's my baby. I was just excited, honestly, to pull it all together, to have enough things to put together. Um, and honestly, I wasn't expecting this great of a response. And it's just been incredible to be a part of all of this. <laughs> Amazing, especially that it was able to come out of, you know, a dark time for many people, which was the pandemic. So talk to us about your connection to Halley House and, you know, how it maybe contributed to where you are now and what you've achieved with your book. Oh, absolutely. Um, so Halley House um, is, like you said, um, a halfway house for uh pregnant and parenting um, moms. Uh, my mother and I were in a very, uh, we're in a, a, in a dark spot early on in, in my life. Um, and Halley House really was a nice bridge. I, I can't describe it better than, than that. Um, my mom entered Halley House when she was around halfway through her pregnancy with me. She went, she was there for the duration of her pregnancy, gave birth to me and we were there for a couple months after that. Um, and Halley House was a continued support. They were heavily encouraging my mother around her ability to parent. Um, they connected her with a variety of resources. I literally, all of my first baby pictures are in Halley House, like members of the house that still work there have my baby pictures. I mean, just talking about like family and community in a different way. Um, and, you know, they didn't stop being in touch. I mean, I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, even after my mom and I left the program, um, they have always kept in touch with my mom in particular, just kind of watching me and, and encouraging her, continuing to encourage her. Because parenting doesn't stop after birth. It, it continues on and you continue to have um, struggles and, and hardships and moments where you're just not sure if you're doing the right thing. And and the faculty and staff at Pally House were just kind of always there cheering my mom on, um, which is really awesome when you think about it. Right. Um, and as far as all of the stuff around my book, when they found out that my my book was launched, you know, faculty and staff were some of the first people to purchase a copy, um, were super encouraging. I was able to have my first book signing at their 50th anniversary event, which was awesome. It meant that I didn't have to plan any of that. I don't have a team, so it's not like mm -hmm. I didn't really have the resources to do it on my own anyways. But um, they made it possible and they were super smooth about it. Um, and just all, all the way around, you know, uh, like cheerleaders. They were here for it. They were ready. They were like, okay, what do you need? You need us to submit this. You need us to show up. But like, you know, all of the things that I couldn't have done on my own, they were ready to do. Right. And it's just it's been amazing. And now, Absolutely. Kayla, what, what would be your message to, you know, maybe people who work in the recovery fear, field? Clearly, they made such a difference on your life, your mother's life. What would be your message to them going forward and how they, they treat families such as your own? Um, if I could say anything, um, you just, you don't know what kind of impact you're going to have on people's lives. So when you are working in spaces like those, um, it's the way that you approach people, the way that you approach each individual, like they're humans, they're humans with lives. They're, you know, you have to cater to each part of them. Um, they need that support all the way around. You don't know if they have other family members. You don't know if they have friends. You have no idea where they what kind of situations they came out of. And so if you can be a little bit of that for any of them, like it could mean the difference between going back 
to the life that they can that they're trying to escape from or moving forward and becoming great parents and or moving forward and being able to raise their kids properly or become clean or transition into fully stable adults um yep. you know like and and to a, you know, and in, in lives like that, the way that they have stayed in my mom and I's life, um, he, the impact that that has to know that there's always somebody, even when you don't think that there is, there's always somebody that's looking out for you. There's Absolutely. always somebody that you can turn back to and ask for help when you need it. Yep. Very beautiful message that you have. Beautiful story. And congratulations on the book. Of course, I want to tell our viewers one more time. They can scan that QR code, find out where to get your book, Diary of Akela Chairs. Thank you so much. And of course, you can learn more about The Connection at theconnectioninc.org. I'm Natasha Lupchenko for your CT Style Express. Thanks so much for watching.